Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, it's me, Richard. <laughs> hey, Richard Blackstone here. Just got to have some fun, right? I mean, if you don't have fun in life, what is it? You know, what's the alternative? <laughs> fun or sadness? Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's no fun. <clears throat> you know, it's really cool because my priority, my actually, uh, my top priority in life is having fun. That's what the game's about, isn't it? It's not about worrying and suffering and, and all that stuff. It's not about lack and disease and frustration. It's about having fun. <laughs> so that's the way, you know, you have the option to play your game any way you want. It's more fun to have fun. So let's have some fun today as I read you a love note. You always want love notes, don't you? Love notes are cool. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read the love note, then we'll talk about it. Okay, love note says, To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to leave the world a better place, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. How do you define success? Ralph Waldo Emerson defined it above, and he had a pretty good handle on transcendental living. So that was Robert uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson's definition of success. I'll read it again here. Now. I especially like the idea of laughing often and much. Now you know that feeling. God, we just talked about this, and this is cool because I don't read these love notes before I do the video. So isn't this cool? How it all the universe blows me away all the time. I especially like the idea of laughing often and much. You know that feeling. It's awesome. Also, how do you win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children? You live your life in service with integrity and love. Every person and child responds with respect to love. It is your right and responsibility to leave the world a better place and once again it feels so darn good. <laughs> I know that in my life alone, I breathe easier because I have lived. That is what I call a successful life. Thank you for making this a better world. Wow. Whoa. Man. You know, I love these love notes. You know, we, we take them from our archives. This love note is a couple years old. And, you know, I haven't read it in two years. And... See how powerful it is today? Because universal truths never lose their their power. Let me uh, read again what Ralph Waldo Emerson had, calls the definition of success. He says, to laugh often and much. That's enough right there. <laughs> I mean, to me, that's success. <laughs> to laugh often and much. To win respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. How powerful is that? To win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. <sighs> Whoa. To leave the world a better place. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Thank you, Rolf. Rolf. <laughs> Do you remember reading really Ralph Waldo Emerson? Oh my God, the guy is a pure genius. He's a little tough to read because he's got this... Uh, colloquial language uh, at the time that he was around and uh, so you have to kind of dig through that but it makes you go deep and uh, what he tells us is uh, you know from a century ago is still not only powerful today but it is it's the way to live life today and uh, and this just proves the point right here you know it's not all uh, success and gaining uh, tons of money and beautiful house and all that stuff no that's not that's not the success of life. Success of life is to... Here, I want to... I love the part about children. Win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. Now, any of you out there, parents or grandparents, do you know how cool it is to win the affection of children? And you know, this is not a given. Believe me. You know, if you have a bunch of fear inside you and are living your life that way and projecting it all the time, you're not necessarily going to uh, gain the affection of children. Nor will you uh, become enamored with intelligent people. You know, uh, it's, it's a game of uh, cause and effect. 
you know, what you give out is what you give back. And, and to gain the, re the uh, affection of children requires you to be affectionate to children. <laughs> and not superficially, from the heart. Because children know this. You know why? Because children are so close to source energy. They can tell a phony any time. Same uh, with intelligent people. They've lived their lives, uh, you know, by gauging uh, who they want to associate with. Because all successful people surround themselves with like-minded, successful people. If you want to join the ranks of intelligent people, then you need to demonstrate your ability to be like-minded, to to think about what you say, that you know, to understand that uh, you you have the power to create your life in any manner you choose, and you will gain the respect of intelligent people. You are an intelligent person, so why hide it? <laughs> you know, uh, I know when I was sleepwalking, I hid my intelligence. I, I knew I was a genius. I knew it from when I was a little kid. I knew I was special. But I didn't, didn't let the world know it. So I held it all, you know, of this genius inside of me. And then finally, <laughs> about the time of my midlife crisis, you know, around the age of 40 or so, it's weird how that all works, but... Finally, we gain enough life experience that we go, okay, I, I know what works and what doesn't work. Now I'm ready to show the world the genius that I am. And that's what happened to me. And now I love, you know, exposing my, my intellect, my affection for children, because what I get back is the same thing. I get affection from children. I get, I get surrounded by like-minded people, just like you. Because you wouldn't be here if you weren't on this path, too. And you know you're a genius. I know you know. We all know. That's the nature of the game. You cannot not be a genius if you're playing this game of life on planet Earth. Because every one of us comes from genius. We all come from the same source. Our quantum physicists are telling us exactly that right now. They say there's no such thing as solid matter. Everything in the universe is made up of one thing. They call it energy. I call it unconditional love, but it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. And what is that energy made of? Genius. <laughs> oh, man, Ralph Waldo Emerson. If you get a chance, grab one of his books and read it. It's, ah. He started the transcendental movement, which, you know, that's what we're doing. We're transcending. We're transcending the mundane, the fear, the separation. We're transcending that. We're moving into love, oneness. And creating a world of peace, joy, and love. That's transcendental. Oh, man. Great love note. I want to especially thank Mr. Ralph Waldo Emerson for the input on this one. And uh, I want to thank you for bringing your genius to the table so that we can interact and communicate and build a relationship that is going to serve all of humanity. And that's what we do here at Create One Love. We give you those tools to do that. And I want to start you out with a powerful tool right now. It's a, an e-book that you can pick up uh, at ConsciousLifestyleSecrets.com. It's called Who You Really Are and Why You're Here. Get it. Read it. It's yours. Free. Go get it now. Oh, right. <laughs> That's the genius coming out of me. <laughs> I cannot contain it. <laughs> okay. I'll see you tomorrow on the next one. <laughs> love you. I mean, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Live in love. Living love. <laughs> See you then.